All right, hello and welcome to another Friday here, uh, the pre-July 4th Friday. It is very, very warm and supposed to be extremely hot over the weekend. So today is sort of a skeleton crew. Uh, Suzanne's over there, there's me right here, uh, of course, and uh, Stripey is on her way. And the three of us are going to be uh, taking care of things this time due to everyone else being away due to other commitments or a little being under the weather. Uh, so uh, to catch up on things, we did a lot of cleanup last week because uh, there have been some watering but not much actual work on things. So. At this point, as you can see, just giving a lot of good extra watering stuff down here. Roses and society garlic, nothing too much to say except, these, again, the usual expected explosive growth. They always just sort of come around this time each year. A lot of society garlic flowers coming out, looks really beautiful. And uh, the roses just putting out new flowers, doing excellently as always. So, uh, good stuff right there. So, besides that, uh, besides that over there, pardon me while I just move things around, we're just going to get everything good good drenching right here. We want to make sure they get a good long drink because it's going to be such a hot weekend. Uh, taking you through the uh, artichokes here, uh, now that they're coming back, they are starting to explode back a bit, the uh, young little fruits right there, but uh, this is all good. So we got the second wave coming, and that'll be wonderful to see. So back here, um, so the squash, which we did a lot of cutting back on, as so you can see all the central stalks and all that, so it you know looks bad, but that's kind of because we cut it back, because it was just getting a lot of the leaves were being a little sort of afflicted by some blight. You can sort of see that right there. However, it just is turning out so big, and we've already harvested so much squash that I think uh, we're sort of thinking that it might be time to sort of just simply uh, get have it be give it a rest. We don't want it to be sort of growing over to the point, as so you can see right here, where it starts essentially taking over other spots and crowding out some of the things we have. Um, that one over there we might let go a bit because it can go for a little bit further. It's not really going on to anything that's sort of a dead bed. But some of this other stuff is just sort of like hitting its limit. So we may just sort of like be calling time right here with it. Maybe harvest a number of the flowers because it'd be fun to have them. Uh, the tomatoes over here doing uh, fine and uh, doing fine over there as well. The edamame down here, while we're giving it a bit of water, it's pretty much this batch is kind of dead, unfortunately. So we may just simply be doing some surgical removing. Over here, however, there is a little more growth, but again, the edamame is sort of busted out. Even though there was our plan for this bed, it turned out the tomatoes were the way to go, kind of unsurprisingly. Um, we have the other tomato plants here, and you can sort of see over there in the far distance. Pardon me while I go back and do a quick moving around of the hose. Again, we're giving a lot of water, but we don't want it to completely flood it out. Put that right down there. So going back over here, the beans are just now, they're the ones that are kind of the uh, big explosive growth crop. It was the squash, the beans are now just in ridiculous overdrive. Uh, over here, as you can see, just you know, huge, huge amounts, um, just all over with the leaves. I'm going to sort of step a little gently right here. Tons around here, I mean, it's all over the place, there's still more room for it to grow. We're probably going to be cutting back some of it here because it is crowding out the rosemary almost too much, and we want to make sure the rosemary is there to thrive too. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, over here again is the other tomato plant. So over here, meanwhile, again, more beans, more beans spilling out all over the place. The atomic red carrots, looking pretty well over here. And uh, again, the uh, sort of dragon beans, tons of those, again, just all hiding away over the place. So we'll be doing a lot of harvesting of that uh, here later on whoop, in the day, so as we claim some of that. As for the main tomato planting, uh, doing very well as you can see, tons of tomatoes coming in. And so there'll be some uh, harvesting here soon enough. As time goes on, they start to ripen. We have plenty more uh, small tomato growth, as you can see the flowers there, and there's still more room for it to grow. So don't be surprised to see more coming along. In fact, given some of this, we almost fear that it might be a little too much and it'll start spilling over, but maybe there's a way we can find some way to prop things up on the side and give it some sort of further support to grow up higher, although we've got room for it to do so over here too. So that's kind of what we're looking at right now. Uh, so we'll be doing a lot of cleaning up and harvesting as we can, a lot of watering as mentioned. That's really the key thing for today. And uh, Stripey will be joining us soon and we'll do some further work right there. In the meantime, we'll let it go of things for now. We're going to get right back into it and do what we can. So until next time, talk to you soon.